The only friend you have. Vivo sola, soletta, I'm alone. Rather lonely. Ma quando viene lo, lo sgelo, when the snow melts down from the roofs of there, you wait for the sun, it comes in, it's mine, it's mine, nobody can take it, the sun out from me. And keep your eyes dragging and turning around, you are lost, like alone in the desert island. Che giornata c'è nera. Oh, help me, God. I have to conduct opera Macbeth from Verdi, mm. which is for me maybe the one, how do they say, key opera from the, from the young Verdi. And mm. I must admit I'm a little unsure because there's really a danger, stylistic danger, how to do it. Oh, è un'impostura della gente prevea, la nobiltà ha dipinto negli occhi l'ombre, ha dipinto negli occhi non sta, and dia. Well, the National Opera Studio was set up by the Arts Council of Great Britain for the training of young professionals. I have to make that clear. They are not students in the true sense of the word. They are young professional singers who are being trained for entry into one of the main companies. Uh, and it's a one-year course, so we have to work very quickly. And what we do is to take the very best voices available and then bring in people uh, that we think can do them the most good in the shortest possible time. In your room, through your window. And you have to give me this rising of the sound, the expression of this, and uh, with a great desire that you have because he's warming you up, you feel better. He's your doctor, he's your friend. He's the only friend you have. Vivo sola, soletta, I'm alone. Rather lonely. Ma quando viene lo, lo sgelo, when the snow melts down from the roofs of there, you wait for the sun, it comes in, it's mine, it's mine. Nobody can take it, the sun out from me. It's mine, I wait. And then you are so transported in this that you stop for a moment and then shy, you come back, germogli in un vaso, una rosa, and you continue to tell If one is regarding him as a teacher of young people who are coming on, I imagine one would have to say that his chief uh, contribution is the way he handles them. He gives them enthusiasm, he gives them confidence, he is um, strict about everything, but always their friend. Oh, 
To watch him at his own uh, workshop is, to my way of thinking, and I'm a very old opera girl, I've been going for between 50 and 60 years, but to me this is the most interesting thing in the operatic world today. He conveys um, the wonderful things that he learnt from the past and translates them into the terms that a modern youngster struggling can understand. There is a great gap. Altro di me non lei saprei narrare Sono la sua vecina che la vien fuori d'ora in fortunare In my opinion, it is not possible to approach the study of false stuff by Verdi and Boito without knowing Shakespeare. This is one of the most fabulous characters of the film because the numberless faces of these beautiful diamonds give a lot of chance. In every single word, in every single phrase, in every single attitude, you can discover and imagine and perform beautiful and different expressions. I found a certain moment that we are painters using the voice as a brush, using the color as in the palette of a painter. When you come out from the water, in the fifth scene, Mondo Ladro, and you are very infuriated, very furious, and you discharge your nerves on the poor innocent, surprised that he's not there waiting for you. Huh? So now you shout at him, Hey, Cavernier, where are you? And then you collapse, Mondo Ladro, and you cry over your bad chance, uh, misfortune. Huh? And when the waiter comes, the innkeeper comes, then you address to him, like, excuse him, forgive me if I was rude. So, Cavernier, un bicchier di vin caldo. The first time you ask for a hot drink, that's why he ran. You think he realized that you are feeling very miserable and you need something warm, something hot. Huh? So let's go, Maestro. Uh, please wait a moment. I sit here. Okay, Maestro, call this, please. <laughs> Thank you. 
The different intonation, uh, rough, rude, severe, ironic, gay, amusing, laughing, uh, dramatic, when you have fear, when you have courage. So they must be expressed in a whole, in a different way, to try to be a good interpreter. Why the people, the actors who perform in the legitimate theater, are allowed to use the voice and this wonderful palette of a numberless scholars and not us on stage. When we have the music giving us the suggestion, helping us in coloring the voice. Apart of everything else that you have beautiful, you have marvelous eyes. Eh? They are very shiny, they are full of lights, rather big, they are commanding in your face. Don't abuse of this, because then the audience will get used to the sweet, and they will not enjoy anymore. So keep it close as much as you can, and when you, you open, then it will be also like the rising of the sun. And another very important thing is for Mimi, the hands. Queste mie mani riscaldar non si potranno mai se avessi un manicotto. Che gelida manina. Because they are beautiful. And in Mosè, he said that she was taking very much care of her hands. Beautiful white, thin, long, elegant. So when you talk about the flower, the little, uh, uh, what do you call it, ricamo that you do, uh, with the flowers, etc., uh, use this. You have to sit in front of the mirror, because I can't suggest you when to use mm. And sing in, a, in front of the mirror the whole aria, or act, perform, mm. and see when you can use, my fior che io faccio aime, find the right position for them. They must be important. Mm. And this is the first and the only really good chance you have to play with your eyes, with your smile, with your enthusiasm, with your desire of the sun, with your hands. So remember this, it's important. It's not enough when you turn to me, for instance, that you turn to me and you change too quickly to a smile. This was a very sweet, very kind, very nice, but out of the frame. You must be still there. Uh, non ha no dore. Altro di me non le saprei. And then move the hand. Don't be, non ha no dore. Altro di me, eh? have a voice to be a singer naturally but once that you decide to have a voice then you, you have to look for all the rest which is equally important as the sound the voice so presence rhythm musicality pronunciation projection of the sound then makeup costume following the music because music is our leader hmm? following the music and giving all the human expression that are required and be an actor, a singing actor. Uh, 
a certain moment of my career, uh, listening to myself while I was singing, I found that I was a little monotonous because uh, singing all loud or all mezza voce because I decided this phrase must be done in mezza voce and so I was doing mezza voce. But where is the meaning of this? Why, what is the reason? There must be a reason to do it. Grazie mille, ancora una volta. Beh, favore, grazie. Ovvio, e stai tranquillo. Grazie, grazie. Maestro, thank you very Salve. much for your help. It's no, really no. fantastic to work with you. I'm thankful because we know now for so many years and work always marvelous together. Thank you very much. Piacere, in bocca al lupo. Crepi lupo, maestro. Ciao. Thank grazie, you. grazie. I have to conduct Dr. Macbeth from Verdi, which is for me maybe the one how do they say, key opera from the, from the young Verdi. And yeah. I must admit I'm a little unsure because there's really a danger, stylistic danger, how to do it. There's, if, if I do it like Traviata, it's very okay. If I do like Rigoletto, it's also okay, okay but I'm, I'm sure there's something more inside, yes. which you just, if you can help me just on, on, the, on in this opera. You, know, you know, Vado, in, the, in this opera, the precious part from my, in my opinion, are the recitativi. Just try from here, for instance, Perfi, okay. this beautiful recitativo. I don't know if I remember this. Let me try. Uh, okay, I play it. Yes, I play it a little bit. Perfidi all'anglo contro me pulite le potenze presa che hanno profetato and now with another voice echoing the the, 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 the witch's women huh? so love essere voi sanguinaria ferro And now we start asking, and the big aria town, which is one of the most difficult aria to be sung. I remember you said once that, that this part of Macbeth is, if you said it, it was maybe the, the hardest part of one. Yes, I song. think so. I think so. In here, also in the vision that we have seen, yes. just try the beginning of this, because uh, yeah. uh, at, my, at my age it will be a risk to sing this. So we love that. 
postura della gente prevea la robiltà di quinto negli occhi lo me la robiltà negli occhi lo sta andia get bullish eh? Eh. orsù non perdi un tempo in questo istante io ti voglio sposare voi? certo io quel casinetto è mio it will be I think a wonderful interest also for the audience who will have the chance to see the young singer growing and become stars. Vorrei e non vorrei. You have to reach the point. Mm-hmm. Eh? But be in tension. Like a, a arrow. Yes. A, what do you call it? A bow, bow. Mm-hmm. Must be in tension all the time. Don't wait. Eh? Yeah. Don't die. The only maestro of a scene of interpretation that I had was the great Sanin. He was working in a Roma at the Royal Opera House. An old man, terrific, little bit blind with an eye. And he was in the winds with a, his handkerchief and shouting to us, Non morire! Non morire! Don't die! So keep alive. That's important. <laughs> huh? It's important because if he said, La ci darei la mano, la mi direi di sì, e lei non è lontano, e vorrei. It's not believable. You are a little bit too much. You are a lovely girl with a beautiful face, and you stay like this. Ah, show your face. Voi non siete fatta per essere paesana, un'altra sorte vi procura anche gli occhi briconcelli, quei labretti si belli, e quelle... Eh? Don't throw the paesana right like this, because you know by heart. Voi non siete fatta per essere paesana. Eh? And then, un'altra sorte, altra sorte di procura, con gli occhi bricconcelli. Quei lavoretti, a little bit, a little bit of this. Uh. So you terrify her. She will be in terror. Thank <laughs> you. 
success of an action is the reaction. So action and reaction must compense, must uh, compensate one to the other. I never thought seriously to have the chance to run an opera house. But if I have the chance to do such a work, I will engage as many young singers as possible. She's a contre guerre, but you just to be nice. Parmi tocar giuncata. You know what is giuncata? It's a kind of mozzarella. You know what is mozzarella? Mozzarella cheese. And it's very soft and it smells really butter and milk. Why? She was milking the cow, that is. And, and that's very the point, eh? Parmi tocca. Mm, parmi. And I want to see something in your face. Look, look me. Yeah. Uh, she put your hand, stop me. Stop me. Come here. Uh, no, you come here. Uh, you stop me when uh, Parmi tocar giuncata. She's a rose. It's a little. You don't like this kind of smell, but in this case, he. Better he accept it.